Hey there, this is James from Isotopic.co and in this very quick video tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to install a two-factor authentication application into your WordPress website. Uh, two-factor authentication virtually makes it impossible for anybody to run a brute force attack on your website and I'll show you why in this video. But if you're trying to log into a website, the typical login has a username and a password and if you can guess the username and guess the password then you're in the website um, that is secure up to a point but if you don't have any security measures in place somebody could just continuously guess the username and password until they figured it out and they can use the common login and password combinations to increase their chances of getting into your website so that's called a brute force attack and what two-factor authentication does is minimizes the risk of a brute force attack because it adds a third step into the login process. Once you've successfully entered the username and password, whether you're you or a brute force attack, then you get greeted with a screen where you need to add in a, another code that comes from a second device. So typically, uh, this would incorporate, it. say you're trying to log into Amazon, you enter your username and password and then you get a text message to your device saying here's another code to enter uh, we need to make sure you're you we can incorporate something exactly like this into a WordPress website for free so let's get into that and let me show you how to actually do that so the two plugins that we're going to use to do this are WordFence and then the WordFence security login plugin uh, and both of these plugins are free simply search for WordFence and install and activate the top two once they're installed and activated, you'll need to configure WordFence very easy. There's a configuration wizard which I have already filled out for this demo site. Uh, and WordFence is a comprehensive security solution. It's free. I recommend everybody uses it. We're going to only be focusing on the two-factor authentication aspect of it. So once these two things are installed, and you can see uh, this is the actual plugin that will provide the two-factor authentication and additional protections. Once these two are installed, we're going to head over to the login security under WordFence. And under login security, we have two individual tabs. And this is what we get to. This is a very simple and easy thing to implement. So this is the loading screen that you will get when you install this application. And it tells you, scan this QR code, download these codes, uh, and then click activate. So what we're going to do is use an application called Google Authenticator. And this is a two-factor authentication app because you'll install this on your device um, and then this application will generate the codes for you that you will then impu input into your WordPress website. This is a bit different in that you're not sending uh, a text message directly to your phone. And that's because sending text messages costs money and we're trying to do this for free. Uh, and it also requires a lot of configuration through Twilo or something like that. If you're looking for that, there are apps that will allow you to do that or plugins that will allow you to do that on your WordPress site. But if you are looking for a free solution, this is the way to go. So download this app uh, and this application comes in iOS and Android. This is just to show you what the uh, logo looks like. So download this app on your phone. And then once the app is downloaded on your phone, all you need to do is load the app scan the QR code, and then go ahead and download the code. So this is a very simple process, and this is all you need to do. You click the plus button, then you click the scan barcode thing, and then it will instantly scan the barcode, and as you can see, it's added a new record. So scan barcode, scan that code, and then where it says localhost isotropic, that's the new code that we will use to enter into our website whenever we're trying to get in. All right, so very simple and easy configuration. Then you need to download these codes and these individual codes are fail safe codes. So if you lose your phone, if you lose access to the Google application, uh, you can just enter one of these codes. So it will download it as a, um, as a text file and you'll be good to go. So then the final thing after you've downloaded it is you need to go onto the application and let me get back to our screen. So you need to get back to the application, uh, go to the Authenticator Google application, and then enter the code. And these codes will refresh every 10 or so seconds, and you'll get a new code. So clicking Activate, um, 
Oh, my code expired. So you need to be clicking the activate button and I'm actually going to re-add because I believe I deleted it incorrectly. So we're going to enter our pass code, click activate, and then uh, two-factor authentication is activated onto our account. So this is a very simple and easy thing to do. So now I want to go into the login screen for this uh, WordPress installation and kind of show you what this will do if I can remember my uh, login passwords. So we're going to log into our WordPress installation and as you see I entered the two correct passwords. Now here's our third step where we need to go back into the application and it looks something like this. Get one of those codes that shows up on the screen and then just enter it into the user interface right here. So we're going to enter 889561, which is just something that's showing up on the screen. Click login. Uh, the WordFence application will communicate with Google, see if that is the right code, and then come back to the website and let you in. So that's a very simple and easy way to install two-factor uh, authentication. Super simple, super easy, very free. Um, it doesn't use text messages. It uses an application that's on your phone. Uh, so this is good and bad. If you lose your phone, um, especially with the Google one, there are a couple other uh, applications here, but especially with the Google one, you can just log in with your Google account on a new application on a new phone and you should be able to get to those uh, individual codes. So I hope this video was helpful in installing this application, how to configure it. Very simple, very easy, and it virtually makes your website uh, impenetrable when it comes to brute force attacks because it adds that off-site uh, code that you need to enter into the website. Questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the description in the comments below. Uh, there is a link in the description below to our blog where we write uh, more about this implementation of security and additional topics covering WordPress. And then as always, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, this is very helpful in growing the channel. All right, hope this video helped, and I will be back with some other videos in the future.